Now we've done a ton of Marvel projects. What about DC? Well, we've actually done more Batman projects than we have Iron Man projects. Why Batman? Well, Batman's one of those relatable superheroes. Nice car. You should see my other one. I mean, not the billionaire part. I'm buying this hotel. But the fact that he's just a mere mortal using technology to be a superhero, which is why we decided to make Batman's gadgets real. Can't wait for our next Make It Real episode? Did you know our YouTube members and Patreon supporters get to see our videos early and vote on future projects that we do? Learn more by clicking on the link in the description below or hitting that join button right next to subscribe. Welcome to the Hacksmith Vault where we revisit, revise, and revamp some of your favorite projects from over the years. And this is a chance for us to show you guys never before seen footage too. This week's episode, Batman. But if you're gonna do Batman projects, you better look the part. That being said, we never really had a really good Batman costume. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith. Human flesh. Oh wait, there was that, that Halloween party where I, I, had, I had a bit of a, a Batman costume and then I, I got hit with a flaming guitar. <laughs> Jokes aside, to be Batman, you need a Batarang, his most iconic gadget. So we started with the Batman Dark Knight Batarang, and this was a ton of fun. I'm a true Batman fan. Let's try branding flesh. Come on, baby. And more recently, we actually did an awesome collaboration with Jarrah Saval, where we recreated every Batman Batarang from comics, movies, video games, and TV shows. I have all the Batarangs finished. Wow, that's a lot of Batarangs. This is the launcher. Three, two, one. Ooh! That was nice! Oh yeah. That's some serious That's penetration. That's about an uh, inch and a half penetration. All right, your turn. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I've got one in the board! That's winning. Oh! oh! Look at that! A tie! <laughs> Perfect kill shot. Wait. Three, two, one, go! Uh, dude, what you, this was a bad idea. But it worked. How did you hit that? After the Batarangs, almost five years ago now, we started working on one of our most functional Batman projects. And that was his repelling hook. And no, I'm not pronouncing grappling wrong. This is a repelling hook meant for going down a building. And it's really cool how this works. It's actually a four bar linkage that opens up. And what happens is, you can connect it to say a gas pipe or anything else and when you pull it actually gets tighter. Now you can repel off the side of the building and when you relieve tension the spring opens it back up and it falls back down.
cool part about this project, this is actually the only product we have ever sold. That's right, I actually sold about a hundred of these to some very lucky fans over four years ago now. And I guess it's our only official product that we ever actually manufactured and sold. After the repelling hook, we had to make something even better. A grappling hook. A grappling hook gun. And you know what? It worked really well. Here's the main window we want to shoot the grappling hook through. And there's access to the roof. Stay away from the edge, dude. That grappling hook gun worked really well, but it had one big issue. How do you climb up a rope that skinny? So, we put our engineering thinking caps on and we actually created our very own winch system. It's rather complicated, but it uses two 2.5 kilowatt brushless DC motors to a custom gearbox we made. And this actually worked really well. I still think this is one of our most engineered YouTube projects we've ever done. Unfortunately, I dislocated my shoulder during the last project, so I'm passing the bat mantle to Ian. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Where'd Ian go with that grappling hook gun? Now after that project, we actually started working on our very first vehicle project here at Hacksmith Industries, and that was our Batman Baja. Basically, we were trying to make a mini Batman tumbler, and it was actually our first partnership with Accelerated Systems Inc., the company that provided those awesome motors for our real-life Cybertruck. Anyway, the Batman Baja was a ton of fun. It was super fast, pretty powerful, and we added a bunch of cool gadgets. Crazy LED lighting everywhere, and we had a ton of fun testing it. The issue was, it never really ended up looking that much like the Batman Tumblr, mostly because it was a Baja, not really a Tumblr. But whatever happened to it? Well, it's still in my backyard. Way back there in my tattered, tattered garage. Why is it snowing? Oh, there's the PUBG buggy too. Should really cover that up. Oh yeah, look. Nice uh, sunroof, letting all the snow in. Anyway, here it is. It has been here for at least three years now. And it looks like a cat was living here. Look at all that fur. Oh, there's the keypad from the uh, LED lights. Oh, there's the relay box. 
to really fix this garage though. Which leads us to our last Batman project that we did, just a few months ago now. And this project actually almost made me lose an eye. Seriously. With Jared Saval, we produced a rocket-powered Batarang. And this thing, well, it worked quite well when it worked correctly. Ready? They didn't turn on! We tested yeah. it. Yeah. It worked. And then James made the tiniest of mistakes. We're both looking at the Batarang because he had just fixed it. At this point, he said, maybe I should turn it on. And if the LEDs turn on, then we know the circuit's still good. And this happened. James just uh, turned the on switch on on the rocket to see. That was, that was close. That was terrifying. Oh. You're missing some eyebrow, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Never leave your Batarang loaded. Oh, I almost forgot. There is one more Batman project that we forgot. Nightwing's Escrima Sticks. Now, unfortunately, it's not working anymore, but in this video, you'll see how much fun we had with these. <laughs> and that concludes our episode on Batman. Are there other Batman projects you'd like to see us complete? Let us know in the comments below. I'll leave you guys with a rocket-powered Batarang working properly. Oh!